Look, I think people are right to be passionate and angry about what happened last week uh, and, and I'm angry and disappointed myself because it was an appalling scene to, to see but anger is not a policy and it is disappointing that a lot of people are reducing the issues that faced us last week to hollow slogans, demands for sackings, or climbing on their own little hobby horse and, and, and you know, claiming that that is behind what has happened here. The reality is we are in a volatile situation, not only here but across the world, and we need to protect our democracy. And it is under attack by people who are criminally trying to manipulate what is happening. But it was equally worrying, in my view, that we saw young people whipped up into this behaviour who are at risk of seeing this as some sort of outlet. And we need to consider every aspect of what happened on the streets last week. We need to look at the policing strategies, their capacity to track posts and respond quickly. We need to look at the responsibility of social media platforms. We need to look at support for practical integration within communities so that this sort of fear that clearly is behind some of this is not developed. We need to ask why do some young people get so riled up by what is happening here and can we respond? We need to reassure people from the immigrant communities who are so important uh, that we are on their side and we will protect them. So this is a, a time I think for, for cool heads and looking to have a real honest debate about how we can protect our democracy and our society from the sort of scenes that you, you are, are so disturbing.